It was good enough for James Bond in his Walter PPK. So will it be good enough for you? The 32 ACP round made sense in his case. 7.65mm Browning ammunition was readily available in Europe and was identical to 32 ACP. Bond would have all the ammo he needed on covert international operations. John Browning designed the 32 ACP round to be reliably fed from a box magazine. It has had great success and spawned a rich history of small frame pistols. Unfortunately, it lacks true stopping power like that of a 9mm or 45 ACP round. However, it does have its uses, discreetly tucked away in an ankle holster, hidden in a handbag, or even as a first gun for your daughter. The guns that made this list fit into one of two categories, a classic collector's item or something you could seriously consider as a backup. Number 10, Colt Model 1903. Pocket Hammerless The Colt Model 1903 Pocket Hammerless deserves the first mention as it popularized the pocket pistol. It was carried by generals, gangsters, and everyone in between. Bonnie strapped this little bad boy to her thigh and used it to break Clyde out of prison. True story. Besides having a rich history behind it, the Colt Model 1903 is a neat little shooter. However, don't believe the name. The 1903 pocket hammerless is not hammerless. The hammer sits at the rear of the slide, hidden from view. I guess for marketing purposes, it was easier to call it the pocket hammerless instead of the pocket hammer is hidden under the slide. Otherwise known as the general officer's pistol, the Colt 1903 is 6.75 inches long, 4.3 inches tall, and weighs 24 ounces. This depends on what type you have. There have been some variations. These minuscule dimensions, combined with the hidden hammer, resulted in a snag-free design, making it an excellent choice for concealed carry. The Model 1903, being a 32 ACP, is not going to drop someone quickly. The upside is that it is accurate with minimal recoil. The 8 plus 1 magazine feeds with no issues, the carbon steel build will keep this relic in shooters' hands for years to come. Number 9. The Keltec P32 The Keltec P32 should be one of your first answers if someone asks you the question about defensive pocket pistols. Many consider the 32 ACP round to be a pea shooter. Even so, the P32 brings enough features to the table to warrant it for self defense. Keltec designed it as a backup pistol to be stored in an ankle holster or anywhere else conceivable. The P32 has no manual or external safety features. It relies on a long pull double action only trigger, so be wary if you like to carry one up. Fortunately, Keltec included an internal hammer block as a drop safety. Rigorous drop testing has proven the Keltec P32's durability and reliability. You might think I am lying when you pick it up. The polymer frame and 9.4 ounces of loaded weight make it feel like a cheap BB gun. Have no doubt though, the high quality build of the P32 keeps it working under stress. The recoil can be handled by anyone. The tiny grips ensure a positive grip while still being big enough to house the 7 plus 1 magazine. The P32 is surprisingly durable, unbelievably light, and accurate. The smooth edges and flawless design make this perfect for everyday carry. You may even forget you are carrying a handgun capable of doing damage. Number 8. Walter PP, PPK, and PPKS Ever wanted to know the difference between the PP, PPK, and PPKS but never bothered to look it up? If yes, then you clicked on the right video. The original Walter PP was designed for police and military use. It had a 7-round capacity and a 3.9-inch barrel. While an excellent gun, Walter found it necessary to create the PPK to make it more carry-friendly. The PPK has a 3.3-inch barrel and a shorter grip frame. This gave the PPK concealed carry weapon status, while its bigger brother, the PP, was considered a sidearm. The PPKS was born due to a change in American gun control laws. 
guns now had to fit sporting criteria. Walter overpowered this by lengthening the barrel by 0.6 inches. Sporting a milled stainless steel slide and frame, Walter's PP series is a testament to class, elegance, and durability. This adds some heft to the gun. It weighs around 24 ounces. It may not perform well in tests head-to-head -head with modern concealed carry weapons, but it definitely stands up to the test of time. An extended beaver tail and a flat profile make for a comfortable shooting experience. The only thing I can complain about is the trigger. The hard pull sometimes throws you off target and may even pinch your finger. Number 7. Signal 9 Reliant What is so much cooler than one barrel? The Signal 9 Reliant answers that question with four badass looking barrels. The Signal 9 uses four barrels and a rotating firing pin to achieve this reliable, compact weapon. It is a modern version of the two-shot Derringer, which we also cover in this video. The barrels break down to load the rounds, and the firing pin sits in between the barrels before the trigger is pulled. This means the Signal 9 Reliant is 100% drop-proof. This gun didn't just make the list because of how it looks. The anodized aluminum alloy frame provides a durable structure that is also extremely lightweight. The 16-ounce weight and long but smooth trigger pull make the signal pretty awesome to shoot. Don't expect much in the accuracy department as this was designed to be up close and personal. Another great feature is the lack of any external firing action. Revolvers and autos can jam up if grabbed by an attacker. The Signal 9 Reliant will keep working even if an assailant gets a grip on the frame. You are also not limited to four shots. The hollow grip holds a four-shot speed loader held in place by a strong magnet. If you happen to empty all four barrels, you have your backup in place. The ambidextrous one-handed operation makes this a quick shooter, perfect for handbag storage and concealed use. If not for actual use, the four barrels put it into a unique class of its own. Number 6. CZ-83 Personally, I love the look and feel of CZ handguns. The CZ-83 is a fine example of what CZ is capable of, even back in the 1980s. The all-steel construction gives a feeling that this gun is here to do hard work. Their reliance is unmatched. They've been known to work when subjected to hard use and through tough conditions. It's no wonder, since the CZ-83 is the civilian version of the Czech military's old sidearm, the CZ-82. The trigger on the CZ-83 was way ahead of its time in 1983. It is beautifully light and has a crisp, clean break. The reset clicks into place predictably and allows fast follow-up shots. This, coupled with the fixed barrel, makes the CZ-83 one of the most accurate guns on this list. The single and double action trigger allows you to carry this gun safely. With the hammer back, you may want to have the external safety on, but you do have the option to decock the pistol for a double action shot on the first trigger pull. The CZ-83 is not just a Cold War relic. If you are keen on carrying a 32 for concealed defensive purposes, the 83 ticks all the boxes. It is tough, accurate, and dependable. Just be wary of the 28-ounce weight. Its history makes it a cool Cold War collector's item, too. Number 5. Beretta 3032 Tomcat If the Beretta 81SF is the little sister of the M92, then the Beretta 3032 Tomcat is the baby brother. What makes the Tomcat unique is its tiny 2.4-inch barrel. The safety design and low recoil make it easy for anyone to shoot. Even the old lady looking to beef up her handbag. It has the same dedication to quality and precision that makes the other Beretta models brilliant guns to own. The simplicity of design on the Tomcat makes it very easy to operate. It has a slide safety made for quick one-handed use. An interesting feature of the 3032 is the tip-up barrel design. It makes it possible to load the first rounds directly into the chamber. If you have weaker hands, then this is the gun for you, as you will never have to rack the slide. The frame is made from aluminum alloy, while the barrel and slide are made from stainless steel or carbon. The single stack magazine holds a capacity of 7 plus 1 rounds. 
The 14.5 ounce weight makes this another top choice as a concealed carry backup weapon. Number 4. Sig Sauer P230 If you thought it looked like a Walter PP with Sig Sauer stamped on the slide, you are not entirely mistaken. The Walter PP inspired the Sig Sauer P230. In fact, most of its design is owed to it. Sig found it necessary to improve on the design of the PP, and they managed to do so without butchering the original elements that made the Walters version as good as it was. Compared to the PP, the Sig Sauer P230 grip feels so much better in your hand. The wraparound polymer grip is molded to give you a secure and comfortable hold on the gun. The grip angle enables a positive line of sight down the well-made three-dot sights. Sig Sauer is known for making accurate guns, and the P230 is no different. Especially with the low recoil 32 rounds. One thing I do not like about the P230 is the magazine release. It is situated below the magazine floor plate. You likely won't get this reloaded in a tense situation, so count on the seven rounds the magazine holds. The P230 was available in a stainless steel version and a blued version. The blued variant is made of an anodized aluminum frame weighing 16.25 ounces. The stainless steel model is all steel and weighs 20.8 ounces. For the 32 ACP, I would recommend the lighter aluminum frame. The Germans have a long history of precise engineering and quality craftsmanship. The Sig Sauer P230 is further proof of this. Number 3. The Beretta 81FS If you are buying a Beretta, you can be assured of superb reliability, precision, and an attractive finish. Beretta is most famous for its M92. It has dependably served the U.S. military since 1985 and is only now being replaced by the Sig Sauer. The Beretta 81FS is like the little sister of the Beretta M92. I love the M92, so a compact version really appeals to me. The first thing I noticed when picking up the 81FS was how well it fit in my hands. I have pretty large paws, but the grip fits my hand like a glove. That, combined with the 3.82 inch barrel, makes for an extremely maneuverable little gun. Another thing I can't get enough of is the trigger. The double action has a clean break of 8 pounds, and the single action cuts that pressure in half. The long reset takes some getting used to, but will help keep you on target. The double stacked magazine provides a decent 12 plus 1 capacity. You can definitely carry one up as it includes a firing pin block and an external slide safety. The low recoil, accuracy, and high build quality make this a great concealed carry weapon. It is one of my top recommendations on this list if you want to carry a reliable 32 for defense. This will be the perfect addition to your handbag if you're a lady looking to carry. Number 2. The CZVZ61 Scorpion I know, technically this is a list of 32 ACP pistols, not machine pistols. Honestly, I couldn't resist putting this one on here. Holding one of these transports you straight back to the Soviet era. The CZVZ-61 was initially designed for Czech Special Forces and Recon Units. Its mobility, 20-round magazine capacity, and easy takedown made it perfect for field use. The Scorpion does have its own share of ergonomic issues. It is clunky, and some of the controls have been minimized for easy concealment. An example of this is the small charging bolt. In a stressful situation, it is likely your hand will slip off. What do you expect from a Soviet-era weapon? You won't buy this because of its ergonomic excellence or lack thereof. I would recommend getting the standard polymer factory grips replaced with the classic wooden style. Like all CZs, the VZ-61 has a great trigger reset, making it a fast shooter. The low recoil and 2.5 pound weight keep it on target with every shot. Make sure you load it with European 32 ammo, as the American counterpart seems to cause feeding issues. Make sure you get a version with a threaded barrel for a suppressor. Shooting this with next to no noise whatsoever makes you feel like a Czech Special Forces operative. The appeal of this gun goes far beyond its performance. Ideal for the collector looking to own a piece of Soviet history. Number 1. Cobra Classic Derringer Unless you're going to wear this up your sleeve like you're in the wild, wild west, 
don't buy it for self-defense. The original 41 two-shot Derringer was one of the first true pocket pistols, designed by Henry Derringer. John Wilkes Booth used a 44 Derringer pistol to assassinate Abraham Lincoln. Deep concealment can be both a blessing and a curse. The Cobra Classic Derringer is a beautiful piece of work. Its alloy construction and wooden grips look and feel great. They are tough materials, but that is where it ends. The gun is horrible to hold, especially if you have larger hands. The trigger is a stiff pull, and you only have two 32 shots available. Reloading requires you to break the two barrels upwards, which is way too slow to be practical. If you see this at your local gun dealer, you will have a difficult time resisting the urge to buy it. Most of these little suckers come in at less than $200. Are you going to buy it because it can be easily concealed as a backup? Not really, no. You are going to buy it because it is a timeless classic and an awesome novelty item. You won't regret showing this to your range buddies. Just stay away from any presidents in theaters. The 32 ACP has been considered anemic in many circles. While the power of the round can be doubted, it can be an effective tool that may potentially save your life. I would only consider it as a backup weapon. Make sure you aim for the spots that count.